idea of deploying the National Guard here to Cincinnati to stem the recent rash of shootings is stirring emotions tonight in a city already really frustrated by all the violence. David Winter joins us now live from Price Hill, which is ground zero for the debate. David. Well, Cammie, Kyle, this all started when Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieter suggested via a podcast that the governor, Governor DeWine, should deploy the National Guard right here to Price Hill in order to stem some of the violence, the shootings, the homicides. Well, this sparked quite a controversy and hit quite a nerve in this community. Well, I mean, we've had 20 murders in 45 days and everyone's getting so frustrated. Prosecutor Joe Dieters today on 700 WLW's Bill Cunningham show. If I was the governor, I would put the National Guard on the streets and protect these little kids. I would do it. Dieter's concept is not unprecedented. It's been suggested in Chicago, St. Louis, and other violence-ridden cities across the country. And he suggested it to Governor DeWine. Uh, I picked up the phone and, and, and called the chief. The governor, who we caught up with at the state fair today, says the chief told him the National Guard was not needed in Cincinnati. The chief told us the same in a statement, saying, we don't want to militarize our community, and Cincinnati PD will continue utilizing existing data-driven place-based strategies and gun intelligence technologies to reduce violent crime, and he is committed to expanding community partnerships in an effort to reduce crime in a way that respects community input. The governor says he is going to propose stiffer gun penalties. If you are a convicted felon um, and you are found in possession of a gun, that the sentence in Ohio is going to be as tough uh, as it is on the federal level. But Dieters went on to criticize city council for not funding the police properly. And you got these morons on city council who sit there and talk about how they're going to combat crime. I think the bigger question is how we deploy those resources. Uh, do we have as many police officers on patrol as, as, we, as we need? And then, you know, uh, how is patrol being done? Uh, and are we building, you know, uh, meaningful relationships with uh, our community partners? In Price Hill, the feelings are mixed about having the National Guard stem the violence. If the National Guard is standing there, somebody pulls a weapon, they just might get that cat popped in their own <laughs> And now that will scare them. Talking about National Guard, and you're not making sense here. <laughs> you know, you want to bring, you know, peace to the neighborhood. Let's move the problems out of the neighborhood, clean up the neighborhood. So the governor says he's going to abide by Chief Isaac's wishes and not deploy the National Guard at this time. Here, by the way, are the latest statistics. Year to date, 37 homicides in Cincinnati. The three-year average for this date, 37. And for this area, District 3, more than half of those, 16, or about half of those, 16 homicides so far this year. That's up 50% from the three-year average. Cammie, Kyle. All right, David Winter, thank you. And among those